friends, it's Ash. What was that? I don't know why I was gonna do that, but I flipped. <laughs> Hello, friends, it's Ash and Julia. My How's it going? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing the roommate tag because if I'm being honest, I just didn't have another video planned and we've been meaning to do this, but we just figured like we would wait so we can get used to living together. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to be like answering the questions that I got off of the internet and yeah, nice. that's, that's basically it. If you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. Give this video a like. <laughs> Give this video a like. Follow me on all of my social medias. Do you want me to include yours as well? You can if you'd like. Okay, it'll be floating over her face right here. <laughs> and be sure to listen to my music because I have more coming out soon, hopefully in the future. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the first question is, did you know each other before you became roommates? Yes, we did. We were in we the did. same new member class in our sorority. Yeah. And we had like mutual friends too. Yeah, she like m knew my boyfriend before I knew him and it was like a whole thing, but yeah, we, we were friends. What were your first impressions of each other? Um, I first. think I know what you thought. I don't know. She seemed cool, chill. I already knew people who liked her, obviously. So I was like, bet, let's be friends. Yeah, like pretty much same. So, okay, we met like twice, sort of. Cause we like saw each other at an event and I just like had no recollection of meeting her. Me neither, I remember meeting her friend. Yeah, I just like, I just don't remember that. Not be not that you weren't memorable. Just, no, it was just there were a lot of people there. Yeah, it was like it was, one of those like social circles. And it was like the first week everyone. of college. The second time I met her was at our sorority's philanthropy event and we like went out to get coffee or something. And I was like, shit, she's cool. Like, I don't want her to think I'm a loser. <laughs> 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 That's so harsh. <laughs> I was insecure. But yeah, so that was my first impression of her. I thought she was pretty cool and chill. Yeah. And now we're friends. We're gonna be doing a lot of this, I feel like. Yeah, That's this just, is our, just the filler. That's just our coping mechanism. Yeah. Next question. How long did it take to become friends slash were you friends before becoming roommates? I feel like it was a slow and steady kind of thing. Like we were always like, I guess like friendly boys, but like I yeah. feel like we like we're friends probably like a couple months in I feel like yeah I feel like we got closer winter quarter because like we would see each other a lot more we would like go out to dinner and mm. go to chapter together yeah I do remember like already towards like the end of fall quarter we mm. were texting a little bit more. yeah yeah it was actually at the beginning of winter quarter we were like yo let's be roommates yes we at, the, like, at the yes <laughs> the men's one of the first things you said to me at that Chick-fil-A thing was like, wait, I'm sorry, but the koalas are dying right now. Cause it was January oh, and the <gasps> Australia was still on fire. Oh my God, it was so sad. Like obviously all the wildlife was very sad, but like specifically the koalas, the koalas. hit the hardest for me personally. The next question is what do you most commonly argue about? We don't. Nope. That that there would be something to confront each other. There's about. really yeah we like we live pretty well together. Yeah, like we're I pretty chill. I feel like we just jokingly argue. Yeah. About like I don't even know. About how you should not think too much about your outfits. Yeah, and how <laughs> she should not like get freaked out talking in front of people. But yeah, so we don't really argue that much, no. which is good. I'm very non-confrontational, so even if I did have an issue with you, you would never know. Well, that scares me. Well, no, but I don't. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Please tell me. I would. You can, like, you can just like leave me a little post-it note. Oh my god, that's so passive. That's <laughs> I could never. Next question. This is just for you. What do you think of your roommate's YouTube channel? Oh. It's, it's cool, I guess. I have no qualms about it. <laughs> I, I'll take it, like, I guess. it's a fun thing. <laughs> Only positive reviews, really. I don't like... It's like, oh my god, you're always with the camera in our room. I hate asking people to be in my videos if they're not like already an active presence mm. in my YouTube. Like I haven't, I haven't asked Harry to be in oh, my YouTube. Oh really? He's going to be in one. We're filming one. Big reveal. I, <laughs> they know. <laughs> yeah. Sort yeah. of. He's like been in a couple of my mm -hmm. videos, but like I've never made one with him specifically. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, that's coming soon. So stay tuned stay for that. <gasps> You already becoming a YouTuber. Oh okay, number six. Who spends the longest getting ready in the morning? Usually you, but I feel like it's a toss up, like whichever one of us is feeling it. Yeah, I feel like, well, especially during week one, 
I spent more time like getting ready because I wanted to like be presentable. But now that it's like week six, I kind of mm. just stopped caring. Yeah, I feel like for like when you we actually have to like get ready, I feel like it's like an equal amount. Yeah, pretty much. It's honestly just changing out of sweatpants for me. It, it, sweatpants into leggings, like it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to go out anymore. No. Even if you do, where are you looking nice? Exactly. The people I'm going to see are people that have seen me at my worst. <laughs> Number seven. What is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? I feel like I always knew you were very organized, but I'm like, wow, wow, she's really <laughs> together. <laughs> you would text me sometimes being like, oh, is this outfit cute or whatever? But <laughs> there are times she'll like stand in front of her closet and just sigh out of defeat. <laughs> No, oh, but it's it's okay. You end up looking good at the end. So I just I stop caring. <laughs> and then I always run into people too. That's the worst thing. I'm like, oh, I hope yeah. I don't see people, and then I'll run into four people I know. No, she'll like go down to the lobby and be like, "Is this acceptable?" And I'm like, "It's the lobby." But I'll see someone there. It's true. It's <laughs> yeah. a very plausible concern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number eight. Do you ever get tired of seeing each other? Oh yeah. All the Your fucking face is so time. annoying. Oh my god. Just kidding. I mean, no. Like obviously we're friends, but like we both have like other friends too so it's not like we're just staring at each other 24 7. yeah we have our own lives like i'll go to my friend's place you'll go to yours it's like you know it's chill yeah we could hang out more too if you, yeah if we can <laughs> okay <laughs> number 10 oh wait no no number nine mm -hmm. um how do you avoid tension while living together we don't have there's any. no tension we just don't have any issues with each other like ever yeah I feel like we've like figured out most like the the only things what like be like what fridge space I feel like people argue about or something I don't even know. we don't even argue about fridge we just no, that's what I'm saying like there's like not even like dumb stuff because it's just kind of like yeah people have like fell into the groove and like there's just a system so it's easy damn we're good yeah nice <laughs> love that for yeah. us <laughs> number ten do you share a bathroom and how do you deal with it so we do mm -hmm. it's not really something you have to deal with no. It's just, just worked out that we just like, use, it. use it separate times. Like we have different, like we, we make sure things are clean, take care of different things. Yeah. It's have like our own sinks, which is really good. Yeah. That's very helpful. We have like our own area with mm -hmm. that. But yeah, it's like, it's like worked out that I end up cleaning the toilet and then you'll clean the shower like pretty much right after me. There was no discussion about that either. It kind of just happened. Yeah. Cause you're like, oh, I cleaned the toilet. I was like, oh, I gotta clean the shower now. <laughs> I was like, I gotta, hold my, I gotta do my part. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but yeah, no, it worked out. And like sharing a bathroom was never really an issue for me mm. anyways. Cause I shared a bathroom with three other people last year. Yeah. I shared a bathroom with 32 girls last year. So 32? 32 girls are on my floor, but- I thought that was like, it was like half of that. No, there were, there were like 16 rooms or something. Oh and my God. yeah, but. Like with, it was like student housing and when like their communal bathroom is on, they have staff that like cleans it every now and then. So I didn't have to like you have to scrub work. all the sh scary showers. <laughs> Two of them like never worked. There was one good one. That was the best one. It'd be so sad. I'd like go over like in my robe, but without my stuff to check to see if it was free. Cause you never want to like go in and then be like, oh, I was so ready to shower. Yeah. And then one time like I went in, checked, it was all good. I came back with my stuff and it was taken. No. And my heart broke. That was one of the things that I was like, I cannot do. I cannot do a communal bathroom. Yeah, so, so it's so nice now having like sharing it with one person. Yeah. So it's easy. Yeah. The only thing is that like last year I wasn't in charge of cleaning the bathroom. So it was just like, like coming here and realizing that that's something I had to do. It was like, yikes, what do I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number 11, have your roommate's friends become your friends? Yeah. Yes. Well, my friends are also your boyfriend's friends. This is very true. Because we're in the same major. And I feel like you're chill with my boyfriend and his friends. Okay, so like how this worked was that my boyfriend, Julia, and they have another friend, Phoebe, they're like all in the same major and they met first and then I met my boyfriend separately and then I kind of just inserted myself into that whole friend group. Mm. It was good though. Yeah, it worked, <laughs> it worked out. We're, yeah. all, we're all boys. I know Emma, Gabby, and Mirit like you. Oh, I, I like them too. Good. <laughs> they're going to watch this and be like, yay, validation. Yeah, they're like, no, oh my God, I fucking hate <laughs> Oh my God, Julia, that bitch. <laughs> Didn't uh, Emma say she was gonna throw hands or something? No, or something that it? was a joke. <laughs> I know, that was I my know. Joke. joke. No, I told oh her. I told her that I told you that, and she was like, "Don't tell people I want to fight them." Oh <laughs> no, Emma's a sweetheart, yeah. and she she likes you. She bought leggings because you told her to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need more leggings too. I do too. I have holes in mine. Don't be. <laughs> we'll find cheap leggings. Thank you. <laughs> Next question: um, Do you cook together or separately? 
definitely separately. The fire alarm hates me. I cook <gasps> at my boyfriend's place. Oh my god. Dude, our smoke alarm is so sensitive. We have a, this toaster, and I swear to god, like, if I put it on the highest setting, it'll burst into flames. Yeah, because it's scary. I've put it on, like, one, which is the lowest setting, and it comes out burned. And every time, like, I turn on that toaster, the smoke alarm will go off, unless mm -hmm. I have, like, the vent fan yeah, you need going. The bag. One time, I just opened the oven. Like, I opened it, and it was preheated, <laughs> and the smoke alarm went, whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't like you. Never mind. Like, his place is open air. It's a lot easier. So. She, like, she, one time she, like, had me place a tray on the burner for her or something because she was scared. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a good relationship. I'm scared when I cook pasta and I have to, like, drain the water and the smoke goes up. I'm like, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> yeah, you just, this kitchen is not for you. No. Although, okay, yesterday I tried cooking mac and cheese on the wrong burner. It's bad because it's labeled too. And I, like, turned on, I turned on the stovetop, right? And I put the, the pot on, like, another burner. And I was there for, like, 10 minutes. I was like, it usually boils by now. Yeah, that was a low point. That was it my brightest moment. <laughs> have you met your roommate's family or been to their home? Yes. You've come to mine because mm -hmm. like you visited me. Yeah. I met your family during move-in, but like I've never been to your place. Yeah. That that's about that was it. The experience. I met her dogs. They were lovely. Oreos a little. <laughs> yeah. I could tell she was she she put on a tough exterior, but I could tell she was sweet somewhere down there. Yeah, so, the deep down. <laughs> No, I love I love her, but like she's very bad with strangers and like she would see them bark at them for like 10 minutes and then turn around, forget that they were there and then see them again and bark again. She got like a bat all over again. Oh my god. <laughs> she's like, "Oh, you're still here?" Yeah. Yeah, no, I've never been to your place, but I did meet your parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't meet your Jersey. brother though. It's okay. That's fine. He's, I, I, he's moved on. <laughs> well, no, he just moved out. That's just what I mean. <laughs> you just made it sound like he passed away. I know. Away. I was like, Ooh. This is the second to last question. What is the best memory you have with your roommate? I'm gonna get sentimental here. Oh, we have some good ones. I thought the whole Long Island trip was so fun. Oh, that was really good. What else? I feel like we have some good ones just us, but I'm like I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Um, we went into Center City to like go shopping or something. Oh, that yeah, was really fun. That was for like St. Patrick's Day outfits. Yeah. And then she couldn't go to, got to wear. Well, I got to wear mine. You were sick. Oh, another one was like, um, it was like after some event and I went back to your place and we played some of your games. She makes games. They're fun. I make yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was, and I, I met um, your roommate at the time. Mm. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good group. I do think the Long Island trip was like my favorite so mm. far. Yeah, it was fun. So then like the other, like the the art kid group, we all yeah. drove up art and hung out. More to come though. Mm -hmm. And then this is the last one that I wrote down. Um, number 15, has being roommates affected your relationship? Yeah, I can't stand her anymore. Oh god, I, look I fucking her and I'm hate like, her. Again? I want to yak every time I see her face. Again? <laughs> I think we're closer. We def yeah, we're definitely a yeah. lot closer. I mean, we live six feet apart from we each other now. Six feet apart. COVID friendly. COVID friendly. <laughs> yeah, but this is the, sh the shared airspace. But yeah, we're definitely a lot closer. We do more mm. things together. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy rooming with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. But, is that all? Yeah, that was all the questions. So Thanks I hope you guys. Tuning in. <laughs> yes, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you, Julia, for agreeing to do this yes, with of me. Course. This is. <laughs> I a lot of my um a lot of my mannerisms have stemmed from TikToks. We do the. <gasps> we sent each other the same TikTok. <gasps> we did. Yeah, oh. it was the Ruth Bader Ginsburg and McGonagall. <gasps> what? Yes, you and that was so good. In Paris. Yeah, our our for you pages have been synced up as well. Mm -hmm. Are you on Remy the Red too? Yes. So like, yes, I'm on the Ride to a musical TikTok and I couldn't be happy. Remy, the Ride to I can't sing, so I let you take the lead on that one. I think you were doing your little outro. I was doing my outro. All right. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human. And I'll see you in my next one. See ya. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>